Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have a 1 over x plus 1 is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of x. So here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are satisfied over this given question statement and which of the roots are not in or in other words we just uh, verify that which of the roots are extraneous root and which of the roots are uh, solution also at the end i can just explain the difference between solution and extraneous root uh, so please watch this video at the end and also i can solve this problem for two methods so uh, please watch both of these methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here in the first method uh, we need to take the LCM in the left hand side and you see here the denominator of this term is 1 and it will be written as 1 over x plus 1 divided by 1 is equals to 1 okay so now here we need to take the LCM in the left hand side and the LCM of this term will be x so when you divide this x by x you get here 1 plus when we divide this 1 with x you get x and x times of 1 is equals to x and this is equals to 1 so further in the next step uh, we need to move this x to the right hand side and it will be written as 1 plus x is equals to 1 multiplied by x and now you see here we have this is 1 plus x and 1 times of x is equals to x so here uh, we need to move this uh, x and we move to a variable term to the right hand side so when you move this plus x to the right hand side it will becomes minus x <clears throat> and you see here we will get uh, 1 is equals to x minus x becomes 0 so you see here uh, 1 uh, is equals to 0 uh, this is not possible that because you see that uh, 1 is not equals to 0 in general so it is not possible uh, 1 is equals to 0 okay so here you see that uh, we cannot get any value of x from in, in the first method uh, so this means that this question has no solution and no extraneous root okay so the final conclusion about this question is that it has no solution okay so this is uh, uh, the final answer which we get here from first method and now we again solve this problem for second method i hope so you like both of these methods uh, and now here in the second method we need to copy down given question statement here it is 1 divided by x plus 1 is equals to 1 this is the our given question statement and in the second method uh, we uh, just need to move this plus 1 to the right hand side and when you move uh, this 1 to the right hand side you see here this is plus 1 when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes minus 1 and we get here uh, 1 divided by x is equals to 1 minus 1 becomes 0 so this implies that we have 1 over x is equals to 0 uh, so here uh, we need to find the value of x but uh, in order to find the value of x we have two ways uh, the one is uh, we need to take the reciprocal of both of the sides so when you take the reciprocal of both of the sides, you see here the denominator of this term is 1 and when we will take the reciprocal our right hand side will becomes infinity so if right hand side is will becomes infinity this means that we cannot get any value of x okay but when we move this x to the right hand side or when we cross and uh, multiply the terms then we get here 1 multiplied by 1 is equals to 0 multiplied by x and we know about that 1 times of 1 equals to 1 and 0 times of x is equals to 0 we know that when we multiply x with any other number it is also always equals to 0 so here again you see that 1 is equals to 0 it is not possible case it is not possible that 1 is equals to 0 because 1 is not equals to 0 okay this is not possible so if this is not possible this means that uh, we cannot get any value of x or in other words the values of x does not exist in this question but if the values of x is not exist so our final conclusion is that 
this question has no solution in general okay because we cannot get any value of x so this means that this question has no solution and this question has no extraneous root uh, so here i can explain the difference between solution and extraneous root so the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous roots and the roots which is satisfied our given question statement is called the solution of that equation but unfortunately this question does not has external truth and does not have solution this is our final answer thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos